Today I show you how to set the snooze duration in your alarms on iOS 26. This is my iPhone 16 Pro Max with iOS 26 and you can tell it's iOS 26 and not 18. You can tell it's iOS 26 because of this transparent effects so everything is transparent you have this liquid glass effect and i want to show you the clock up to set an alarm on your iphone you open the clock up right here i have it here but you can actually if you don't know where you have the clock up you can also just search for it you can search for clock and you find even the option to set alarm directly but i i know i know where the clock up is and i will open it and here you have options to see the world clock you can set a stopwatch or a timer but for alarms, I have my alarm set here. And if you tap on the alarm, you see the option for the snooze duration. Now you can choose how long you're going to snooze this alarm. So for example, I could change it to six minutes if I wanted to. Okay, so 8.20 and six minutes snooze. And now it's set. You see it, it's already set to six minutes. You can change the sound if you want to. You can change the sound. If you want to change the sound, that's also an option. But I could choose set the students to 10 minutes. I think 10 minutes is pretty good. And I want to show you the interface of the alarm. The alarm buttons for snooze and to dismiss the alarm are much bit. The buttons of the interface of the alarm when you, it's ringing the buttons are much much bigger than before and i'll show you now 1929 so let's make it 1930 and we could snooze it for what's the minimum one minute so one minute is the minimum to snooze it for okay one minute is the minimum to snooze it for and i have it set here one 1929 so Let's see now. The my iPhone will start ringing hopefully soon, and when it starts ringing, you will notice the buttons to dismiss the alarm and to snooze. They are much bigger than before. In iOS 26, they are really, I believe, much more um, easy to press when you're sleeping. When you're sleeping in the morning, yeah. So you see, the buttons are really much larger. You have the most important information, the time here, and I could snooze the alarm, and it starts to do a countdown of one minute. So this alarm, it could start even if I'm using the iPhone. So I do unlock face ID, and I have the alarm information here. So the alarm will ring again in one minute. You can stop the alarm completely before it reaches the snooze time by pressing the X there. So if it's 10 minutes, you don't want it to ring again. In notifications, you will have it there. But in 4, 3, 2, 1, it will start again. When you are using your iPhone, the alarm is like this. It looks like that. So now the alarm is dismissed and you can use your iPhone just as normal. I only set this alarm for one time, but you can set it to repeat. If you want, you can repeat the alarm to every day of the week or every week weekend day or every day or every working day. So it's pretty, pretty convenient. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you set the snooze time and also see how the interface is much better in iOS 26 on your iPhone.